Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're gonna review the Asus RX 470 ROG Streaks 4GB version and this card rocks solid. So this is one of the best cards I had so far and unfortunately the not overclocked version died out in the box and I had to send it back had some really big trouble with it but there was a really good advantage on that one because the card was 220 euros on that website and a few days later on Amazon the cards were only 170 euros so I refunded the card and got two new cards with a cheaper price so that's pretty darn good of course we're gonna review this card really quickly now so first of all this card is one of the most silent cards i ever heard in my life so if it's running on about 30 or 40 percent you cannot even hear the card running and it's a 10 of the 10 out of 10 for me because it's really the most silent card i ever heard and the awesomeness of the card really helps out too because if you want to resell the cards later on to gamers or something they will really go for the look of the cards most of the time so this card gets an 8 out of 10 because of course the RX480 version has three fans and I think gamers more like three fans instead of two fans but the prize has an 8 and a half out of 10 because as I just said I bought the card for 170 euros that's about 200 dollars but Keep in mind it's Europe and we have a little bit high taxes around here, so this is a really cheap card. The cooling of the card is also really good, it's a 9 out of 10 because it has a really open case. It's really easy to distribute its heat through all the sides and even the back because it doesn't have a back plate. So it's really cooling the shit out of himself and it has really cool temperatures. So the lifespan of this card is a 10 out of 10, it's gonna be the same as the MSI but this one is should be going pretty long at about 10 years they say so if the card is still running after 10 years you will have reached mining temperatures of 48 degrees celsius at the coldest and 65 degrees celsius at the hottest if you see it you will see that i place a it at 85 watts tdp thing on the right side of every title I do because I want to do a little new benchmark to benchmark the cards more accurately I will try to get the most out of the cards with 85 watts power usage and see how it performs so if you just put, put the stock hash rates on it it will only do 21.4 mega hashes per second out of the box without a memory BIOS mod so if you have a micron card you will definitely have to bring this card back because it will be really inefficient but if you BIOS mod this card you will hit 28.4 mega hashes per second on ethereum and ethereum classic and that's a really good benchmark for 85 watts only and if you want to mine XMR or Zcash, you will hit those 750 hashes and 250 hashes per second. But if you see the compared to the stock and BIOS watts per mega hash per second, you will see that the stock card will use almost 4 watts per mega hash and the BIOS modded only 2.99 watts per mega hash. So this is a really, really, really efficient card and it really deserves his lifespan, cooling, price, awesomeness and noise that is really low. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. And hopefully we will have so much money we can buy every card in the world. So if you want to buy this card or anything else on Amazon, use the link from my channel to help me out a little bit. Hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.